2011 was the first time I went back to Liberia and discovered that there was one textbook for every 27 students. I couldn't believe how it was possible that young children could go to school and survive in those circumstances. The Liberian Learning Center was created to serve the needs of the future. And the future is the young people whose lives and have been taken away by over 14 years of civil war. The young people who have never had the opportunity to see what a public library is or even walk into one. We broke grounds in 2019 and then COVID hit. Just as we were beginning to believe that this could have happened and it all of a sudden looked like it wouldn't happen again. And two years later, we resumed building and we were fundraising, building at the same time. But what was more amazing is that what we would have termed as contractors, those building this facility, didn't see themselves as contractors. Whether we have funds on the ground or no funds on the ground, they were committed to being on the site because for them, this was not a contract, this was life. This was the canvas for which they could paint a new picture for the future of their country. I want to thank God for this wonderful program. He had told me that it was a learning center. I didn't know it had gone this far. A few days ago, we met to talk about the dedication. We all were agreed that this is going to be one of the most important things. It's been an incredible opportunity of learning from phase one, we call it the pre-construction services, to phase two, even digging the ground, determining and being careful where we're on the water table, where we're not on the water table, or how much we needed to dig or not dig. And then the foundation, when the foundation was done, that face was closed, we reviewed it and looked at it. And then the pillars going up. And then the bricks filled in. And then they started to talk about the roof. And then the roof started to go in. And then we started to talk about a building being enclosed. And then we started to talk windows, doors. And then we had to answer the question, what's going to happen with the floor? What's the best material? We went through multiple materials, from tiles to cement to concrete. And then that decision again was made. And then after the floor, the question now came, the finishing of the walls, um, the finishing touches that had to go on. Little by little, and at every stage, we stopped, we paused, we reflected, we reviewed, because this was not a quick impact project. This was a transformational project. It has taken us over a decade, about $1.5 million thus far. Hundreds of volunteers from librarians, from the Hamilton Public Library, to from McMaster Library, to engineers, to architects, to volunteers who just wanted to be a part, to donors, to funders, to people who just wanted to believe that this was possible, to student volunteers. And I can tell you, that effort has culminated today into transforming the lives of about 250,000 people when the doors of the Learning Center open. Our problem now is no longer the building. Our problem is the demand on the facility, and that's a good problem to have. I look forward to walking in a space that a child can sit on a laptop because they've never had a chance to sit on one. I look forward to walking in a space that can look up and be thankful, looking at the beauty of what has been created in our community. And I can tell you, that community will never be the same. That community will never go back to where it was because this facility has introduced a new reality. Kids will sit down and, and, and ask questions like, am I allowed to come here whenever? Can I choose to come whenever? Uh, nobody's gonna stop me. When you look at the faces, it's uplifting. I, we brought them in, in the building and just the chatter that went up the laughters, like you could hear it echo through the building. 
It was different years ago when we went to the site and nothing was there. It was dead quiet when it came in. It was just more of paying attention, sit there. And now the chatters are getting louder and louder. The laughters are more exciting. You can feel the type of energy that comes of it. And for me, whenever you can hear the laughter of children in the distance, uh, a happy laugh, there is nothing more assuring that when these kids are happy and can be in those spaces that make them feel that, changes are bound to happen. You cannot stop them. <laughs>